So just to refresh your memory from last time, we ended up in Wonderland after defeating the, uh, the denizens of Wonderland that the Goblin Queen had sent to the Earth Plane. And she, the Goblin Queen has brought with her a group of individuals that she is kind of referring to as her family which consists of uh, Colossus, who's right there, the Banff Dragon, which is a version of Nightcrawler, Havoc, uh, whom she refers to as the Goblin King, Cable, her son, and Nastir, the demon. All right. Um, and then in front of the Goblin Queen, if you'll recall, there was like a, a pod that was had like a skeletal structure that was purple and reddish with little black accents and a green goo on the inside that was uh, encasing a small childlike form inside it. And the Goblin Queen had addressed Shard requesting her to come forward with her soul sword to unlock this particular item for her. Because the magics that are surrounding it are even too powerful for her to circumvent, but there seems to be like a little keyhole up front that seems perfectly suited for Dana's sword. All right, well, what do we want to do? <laughs> so if memory serves me correctly, uh, the childlike substance was that not related to Dream Slayer last time? There, yeah, there was a sense of that that at least the pod for sure had to be uh, something that was connected to Dream Slayer and Phantasm. Oh, okay. Um. Well, Dan, I think this is kind of your your ball game. You know, yeah. we don't we don't want to trash your place <laughs> more. <laughs> it's pretty trashed already. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. So we are. Where are we? Are we on the map? Yes. Oh, you, we're you are on the map, a little further down. Pretty. And don't Grab forget. Us, right. Don't don't forget. Mikey has testicle, egg, arms, and legs now. That's yes. right. Super testicle, egg, arm, and legs. <laughs> Yeah, but which one's where? <laughs> I didn't what, are they, what are they called? <laughs> what are they called again? I need to write it down. Okay, so we're down below them. They're up above us, right? Uh, yeah, don't poke the bear tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to um, turn to my friends, turn my back to um, everybody. I'm going to turn to them and say, I got this. And as I do that, um, I'm painting something as discreetly as I can possibly paint it. Paint it. Okay. Um, I can either roll for it now, or I can roll for it after it. I tell you what I did. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I, I love torturing Christy so much with her poetry. So please tell me what you paint first. Okay. Well, really, I'd love to do two things if I can. Okay. If I can get away with it. Okay. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a skin over the, the um, capsule, the pod, the incubator thing. I'm going to, hopefully it'll be nice and discreet and it'll look exactly like the pod does. Okay. So it's like a camouflage of itself around it. And I'm doing that. I'm telling them. You know, it'd be fine, guys. I'm going to do something, some painting. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint 
um, a soul sword and hand it to Christy. And um, no, I'm not going to hand it to Christy. That's wrong. Sorry. I had this all planned out and I can't think of it. Um, so I'm going to paint a soul sword. And then hopefully, if it'll work, I'd like to take my real soul sword and put my, um, I can't think of the word. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, the, the portal that I have in my hand, I'm going to put it over the real sword and the real sword hopefully will be zapped up into my portal. So I now have an imitation sword that looks just like the real sword at my side. Okay. <laughs> Can I do all that? I want to say karma and I want to roll for two. I want two moves. <laughs> yeah, <okay. Two> action. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, go ahead and roll for your two actions. Okay. Is that two dice? Yep. Okay. And I got, oh, 41. Bad. Okay. Not great. You and you did. I did hear you call karma. I did freaking say karma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, did did you want to bump that up then? Uh, so what's that's un I... that's under fighting. So um, fighting is excellent. Mm -hmm. So forty one just barely puts you into green. So you'd have to bump yourself up to a 71 to get a yellow. Okay. Um, and I don't know that you would need to do that because I think you just want two actions. So that'll give yeah. you the second one. So that's okay. So just burn 10 and then you're good. 10. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So after, then, I, after I've hopefully done that, I turn towards her and hopefully she... But I have a quick question, yeah. though, um, about the size screen that yes. I have on my sheet. Is mm -hmm. that something I have to say I'm going to use or turn on, or is that an action, or is that something that just happens? Um, it, it, can you real quick read to me what the power does? I don't have that in front of me. Um, you mean in the book? Uh, or on my... On your sheet. I think it only... Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. Um, it's under personal, I think. Uh, it says side screen monstrous. It doesn't say anything else about it. Okay. Yeah. So I, I tried to look it up, but I couldn't find any really good information about it. See what we can find out here real quick. And what's the rank on that? It's monstrous. Monstrous. Okay. Yeah. Now that is something that you can certainly, you, you would need to say that you're going to enact it. It's not something that just automatically happens. Right. Do yeah. I roll for that or do I just, it's just a talent thing I have that. Now you, you, you would need to roll, you would need to roll for it. Yeah. I do you need to roll for it? Mm -hmm. okay. So you're going to be creating a, basically like a shield over top of the Yes, uh, I want it pod. to look, well, not a shield. I want it to be um, like a, a mimic over it. Okay. So there's a fake one over the real one. Okay. And then you're also <laughs> wanting to create a separate soul sword. Yes. So that would be two actions there. Mm -hmm. So in order to do the side screen, that would have to be a later be action. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna do the size screen because I know that um, the Goblin Queen is has all these mental powers. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna do the size screen, and yes. I'm gonna do the little shell around the capsule. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so am I rolling twice for that, or am I rolling? Yes, ma'am. Two okay. times. First roll is sixty-two. And that, that my, that's my size screen, yep. maybe. Am I rolling for that first? And that is under monstrous. I'm sorry, guys, it's taking forever. That's yellow. OK, so, and I did yell karma. I already said karma for the first one. Can I yell karma on this roll, too? Uh, for the next one? For the painting? Yeah, sure. Karma. 
And I got an 89. Okay. And that is, I'm not sure which column that is. I'm sorry. Uh, that would probably be universal spell. I mean, well, I, what's your intention with painting the, uh, the cover for that? I want to make sure that it looks the same, that she doesn't notice that anything's been done. Okay. But ultimately, what are you ultimately, planning to do? I'm yeah. hoping to replace my painting with the, or replace the capsule with my painting. Christy. Gotcha. So, so. <laughs> right? Got it. So like the, when the bank robbers come in and they tape a Polaroid up in front of the camera? Exactly so. Okay. So we're looking at, at basically creating a duplicate so that that one can be zapped away in some, in some manner. So you're essentially creating an illusion. Um, so that I believe should be a universal spell. Okay. So it says I may attempt any universal spell at the incredible level. Mm -hmm. So I look, so that's what that means under incredible, yeah. right? And you got the one on 80, 81, 89. 89. Okay. So it takes you up to 99. So that's, yell, a, that's a red. Did yell karma. So yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, so no problem there. You've you've successfully done that, okay. and then that's the end basically of that round. If nobody else is doing anything, uh, and Madeline Pryor says, "Come, come, my dear, I'm waiting." I guess I'll walk up there with my sword. Okay. Slowly, <laughs> make my way up there. <laughs> Uh, all right, go ahead and move yourself uh, where you want to be. Now, the let me see if I can find something here that I can put in for the uh, incubator here. All right, so you, you're kind of getting about halfway th there at this point. Mm -hmm. Do you want to say anything to her on the way, or are you going to continue up the steps? Can trash say some talk. things to her. <laughs> what do you say, Christy? Trash talk. Trash talk. <laughs> <laughs> Madeline. Yes, dear. <laughs> I wish to make a bargain with you. A bargain. Well, what pray tell is your bargain? I will help you open the capsule if you let my friends go. <laughs> but Madeline, I can see that I know this is not what you really want. I know these people these that you've surrounded yourself with is not what you really want in this life. Oh, but you misunderstand. You see, this is my family. My family that was torn from me in an instant. And now I have them back. This is what I want. But whatever this is inside this incubator will allow me to have so, so much more. And what do you think that this will achieve? It will allow me to recreate the world that I lost. Can I create another painting, Chris? Um, can I not do that yet? No, you. yeah, you've got time. Uh, you could certainly do it. Now, she, she'll see you. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Okay. So I, I did this very quickly, and, and a human form appears between us, like standing up near her, not, not in front of her, but maybe up on that platform. Um, and as the, as the colors form to come together, um, a man is standing there with something in his arms. 
and uh, the man is Scott Summers. And he looks at her and he says, Madeline, my love, I have found you. I want to be with you. Come and be with me. Uh, roll your magic. Roll my magic. Mm -hmm. And that's going right. to be uh, another universal spell. 60. 60. 60. Okay. That's incredible, I believe. All right. Green. So now we're going to be going against her psyche with this. I have a poem. Yes. Um, I have a poem whenever, um, you know, open mic. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, is, is it going got to, one loaded. Is this something that's going to assist this? Yes. Okay, then do it now. Okay. Oh, karma. <laughs> karma. <laughs> okay. A storm I call a thunder shower. The Red Queen's power, electromagnetic, draws lightning, strikes these guys. Her eyes no longer on the prize, preoccupied by her companions, pride. Shards, deceptions, actions, lies, pass undetected before her eyes. Okay, roll it. 85. 85. So adding 10 to that would certainly take you to a red. Okay. Um, now, what's your intent? Um, the intent is her, the power, the electromagnetic quality of whatever power she has um, draws lightning that zaps her companions, which distracts her long enough that what Shard has done is effective in its deceptive qualities. Okay. And hopefully rattles them up, you know. <laughs> at red. <laughs> I hope that them a little. I'm moving myself up here. Because I've been walking the whole time I've been talking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Walking and talking. I'm going to move you just ever so slightly uh, and put you there. Uh, because the only way to get, well, actually, pr you'll probably be about right here. Uh, oh, because, I see. The stairs go around. Yeah, the, the stairs <laughs> on this side are okay. broken. Uh, oh. So the only way you can get oh, up is, okay. is going up Sorry. this way. It's hard there. to tell. Yeah, it is a little bit. Okay. Okay. Keep going. I'm going to stop my video for a second. Okay. And then, uh, okay. So we see Scott Summers appear uh, before his former betrothed. Um, and she sees this happen. Uh, now, with what Christy had done... Dana, do you remember what you rolled? Was it a 60? Uh, six, um, yeah, like 61. Okay. I think it was. And she got a red, so I'm going to give you a plus three column shift to that. Does that, where does that put you color wise? So I've got a 61, and it's incredible. I add one, two. Unearthly, still yellow, I think. Okay. Wait. No, I did that wrong. Sorry. I'm trying. Oh, yeah. It's still yellow. It's like middle yellow. Okay. All right. <clears throat> um, you see her rise, uh, and she approaches Scott. Uh, and she says to him, Oh, my darling Scott, come to me, my love. And she takes him in an embrace and they kiss and then he bursts into flames. Oh, crap. Um, now, as a part of uh, what you guys uh, have done, uh, Christy, what you've done, uh, it's going to put them at a disadvantage for initiative. Um, and my son is calling me right now, so if you'll pardon me, I have to go. I'll be right back. Um, okay, so that's going to put them at a disadvantage for their initiative, but 
at this point, she is keen to your ruse. Uh, and they are kind of bracing themselves for an attack, you can see, uh, at this point. Uh, but Christy, uh, with what you did, you were able to kind of put them at a disadvantage. So at this point, it really kind of comes down to you guys rolling initiative and then deciding who amongst you uh, that way will go first. Uh, now, Dana, obviously, you're the closest up there. Uh, but still, let's go ahead and roll initiative. That's just one, right? Yep. Okay. And then add your bonus. So three, three, six. I'm sorry, what's the bonus? Uh, That's the initiative, initiative bonus. bonus. Right on. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. All right. So, Mike? Uh, 11. Shard? Three. Poet. Three. Three. Yes. Oh, did you roll a one? Yes. A one is always a one. Oh, okay. <laughs> we both got one. Okay. <laughs> Same difference. <laughs> yep. Both laugh. <laughs> um. Sci ghost. Kurt. Six. Uh, Arsenal? Six. Okay. All right, so Spartan, you're up first. Um, I'm going to roll for multiple attacks just to be safe. And... Just to point out, the floor is already crumbling. <laughs> <laughs> so... <There> is lava. <laughs> Fair and enough. just just a, a heads up because we haven't really utilized much of this uh, in the past. And and Andy, we kind of tweaked his character just a little bit because we realized that he was really taking a lot of damage. Um, if you're going to armor up, now would be the time. Ah. Oh. Okay. I'm going to armor up too. <laughs> um, I'm going to try this out. I'm I, I am armoring up as well. But so. The multiple attack roll is a fighting roll, right? Yes. And I got a green okay. on that. Um, so is that one extra attack? Uh, a green is for you. Yeah, that's one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I will charge cable. Okay. And he's up at the top of the steps there. Right. Can I make that from where I am? Uh, it's going to be close. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, you will be two squares away from him. But if you do your like leaping mm -hmm. thing that you've done before yeah. and then affect an area, you can do that but you're going to want to land at a spot where you're not going to get shard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'll, I'll be more cautious. Yeah. Than that. And, and you can do that. It would put you probably right there. Yeah. I'll, One, I'll do that. Two, three, four. Well, actually back just a wee bit, maybe about right there. All right. And then that would keep her out of it. Out of the, out the of your, the your radius area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And then um Did you say heads up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I need I need some I need some marvelly catchphrase for that. You do. I'll, I'll yeah. work on that. Yeah. <laughs> Clobbering time or something. <laughs> um, I think that one's taken. And then <laughs> should I go ahead and roll the the power for that for the mm -hmm. Okay. Uh ba -bom, bom, bom. That is a 43 under amazing uh, green. Okay. Now, is that with your the additional um, column shifts for the stones? Uh, the stones didn't affect that power. Okay. And then that's 50 points. Right. Okay. All right. So, and that was a green, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
All right, so you did a little damage to him. Okay. And when I say a little, it was a little. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit. Uh, he, he stumbled ever so slightly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then we go to either Psyghost or Arsenal. Psyghost, go for it. No, you go ahead, Arsenal. <laughs> no, you, you, you go ahead. Please, really, you. Come on, <laughs> get those tentacles out. We want to see the tentacles. All right, all right, I'll be happy to. <laughs> all right, so I, you know, I have the tentacles come out of my ears just for fun today. <laughs> come out of the ears and they, who, who, are you, who are we trying to take out first here, guys? What, what's going on? I think um, we're just each picking somebody. Yeah, I think so. We're just taking them all down, right? Okay. It's like, or I just right, pick somebody. So I'm just going to take that. Let's see, who's more? Oh, hold on a second. I apologize. I was going for the wrong guy. I, I accident, accidentally did that to Nastir. So the damage that you did was to Cable, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Never I, mind. I think let's take each one out. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to reach these things into. The, it's a little kid, right? That's good. So I'm gonna reach into his mind and try to rip his brain. He's not real, right? He's not real. We're not killing real kill, children here, are we? Yeah. Yeah. You're killing an actual small child <laughs> if, if, you're, if you're going after him. Yes. Like some creature, right? Not a not a real thing. We can destroy. Like these a, Kid, a kid creature. No, it's it's it, it's it's a little boy. But it's not. I mean, it's a real little boy, or it's like it's, a demon little. What is this thing? It is. Well, I'm real, glad you're going first. It is a real little boy. <laughs> All right. So I'm just gonna try to, you know. But, but you don't have to worry about the real little boy because with what he did, what with what Mike did, I took the health off of the wrong character. Okay. Um, so. You slam down and it throws cable uh, backwards Please here, mm -hmm. uh, and he falls unconscious. This is what Arsenal does. What? No, that's well, what I, that's what Mike did. Yeah, or whoever. Okay, so I'm gonna now. Um, all right, the green thing. I'll do the green. The green manticorish creature. Okay. <laughs> So when, yeah. when Cable flew back, did he yell, I'm a real boy? <laughs> Mysterio, Mysterio's like, is that like a monster? Can I kill that? Or do I just knock him out? It doesn't matter. I'm going to reach into his mind and just kind of, you know, pull his brain apart a little bit and see what happens. Okay. I'm going to use Karma. Brain apart a little bit. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll for extra attacks, too. Okay. Karma. Everything. I'm just going to look at the, the blizzard. I mean, the... Uh, Mana split, whatever you call it. <laughs> Nestier. Right. Yeah, I'm going for this guy. Okay. Oh yeah, they're like 89 on the roll. And that's on that's that's like some really serious stuff. Okay. That's like on monstrous, it's unearthly ability of monstrous damage, right? No, yeah. Monstrous psychic damage. Monstrous. So we're going. Yeah, we're gonna hit we're gonna hit red on that automatically. Okay. You see him. Wait, wait, was that my rolling for extra rolls? Sorry, did I just roll for extra rolls first? Oh, uh, yes. You need to, if you're going to do extra attacks, then yes, that does need to be. That's rolled. what I just rolled. I rolled the extra rolls. Okay. All right. Okay. So, so can... that would give you two extra. All right. Well, so I'm now, now I'm doing the. Now I'm going to do from my ears into his head. Okay. Uh, and not quite as good. I'm still using the karma though. Forty-seven. Okay. And that's going to put me in, uh, it's going to put me in green. I'm going to push it up to yellow. Can I do that? Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. The 10 karma. There you go. Okay. And that is on monstrous, correct? That's on monstrous psychic damage. Okay. All right. So you're sending those out of your ears, correct? Yeah. All right. He sees them coming and you see, oh. uh, these reddish kind of fiery tendrils that come out of his ears uh, oh, come on. in an attempt to try to grapple with the tendrils that are coming in at him. But you are powerful enough to force those away and they shatter and you're able to get inside and begin to scramble uh, his noggin. That's what I'm doing. A little bit of this. Tickling his brain. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
So you're in there and you hear him uh, just kind of scream in, in agony uh, while you're in there. This dude, now that you're inside, he's powerful. Um, you know, on league, like almost with, uh, with Professor Xavier as far as his psyche. All right, so don't forget when I'm in stressful situations, I have to make a psyche feat to keep the void at bay. Yeah. So if he's that powerful, mm -hmm. I might, I'm, I don't know if it happens now or later, but I think you're gonna, it's gonna put me into a stressful situation. Yeah, I, if, if this were contested equally uh, at this point, he got a green, you got a yellow. Okay. Uh, so uh, if, if we have a battle of wits that, it, that he is stronger than you at any point, or if it's, if you're equal to one another uh, on your rolls, then I'll probably have you roll for that. All right. Okay. Well, let's keep this going for a while. All right. Uh, Andy. Um, I'm gonna roll for extra rolls here, or yeah, extra actions. Uh, so that's under fighting, which is remarkable. And not gonna get an extra action, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I did, you know, karma on that one. Okay. Uh, now remember, you're at a minus four column shift then for the one action that you have. Okay, uh, I am gonna teleport back here behind everybody else. Okay. So not back by Bernie, but kind of <laughs> kind of close there. Okay. So for that, I sh should not have to roll. You still have to roll a teleportation, yeah. Oh, okay. That's a uh, okay. So amazing, and I'm gonna yell. I'm gonna put karma on that guy, just in case. Oh yeah, I, I'm easily back there. Got a 93. Okay. So. All right. Yep. Move where you want to be. All right. And then we go to Shard and Poet. If you will both roll one die because everybody else got a one as well. Two. I got a one. <laughs> Again. <laughs> okay. Well, y'all are going to have to wait for these guys then. Shit. Um, okay. Nastir is already acted this round. Uh, so Havoc uh, is going to come to the edge here and send a blast towards uh, Spartan. And he got a yellow. Okay. Um, I think I'll just... I mean, is it something I can dodge? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and dodge is under. And did you agility. put armor up? I did. Okay. Um, and so I'll roll agility. And I did not make it. I got a I got a thirty on excellent. So. Okay. All right, yeah, so yeah, it's going to hit for full value, and that's 75 points of damage. Now, your um, armor will soak however we'll much it can. Yeah, so it's remarkable, plus I've got a one-column shift right now, so. Okay, so uh, you soak so, 40 of that. So, minus 35. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. And so from him, we will go to the Banff dragon, who is going to Banff. <laughs> over into this direction, right there, conveniently. Uh, so- to, Am I gonna have to tell him to Banff off? <laughs> <laughs> you might. So Poet and Psyghost, you now have this gigantic Banff dragon uh, snarling at you uh, and you smell the brimstone uh, from his teleportation. Uh, and that was his action. And Colossus hmm. uh, 
Oh, there's Andy. I couldn't, I couldn't figure out where Andy was. Neither can Colossus. Uh, <laughs> he moves back to protect his queen. And that will be his action. And the Red Queen waves her arms about uh, in a magical formation. And Dana, you feel the ground beneath your feet moving. Uh, now, did you um, want to roll for extra actions? Yes. Okay. Go ahead and do that. Five. It's just one, right? Uh, no. No, two. Mm -hmm. no, I'm sorry. Intuition is... Mm. No, uh, it is fighting. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I rolled two, right? Mm -hmm. I got a 48. Okay. Is that at least a green? It's fighting. Excellent. Yes, barely, yes. Okay, so you've got two actions then, and you may use one of them if you want to try to escape what is about to happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> and you can either do that as a dodge or... Um, can uh, I leave here wet, Arabesque, and... I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you can do, that, do whatever you want there. Or it can be a teleport if you want to do that. Can I do that? Mm -hmm. I didn't think I could teleport anymore. Oh, yeah. Okay. All you got to yeah. do is just form a disc uh, to okay. take you where you want. As long as it's within this realm, you can. Yeah. You just can't okay. skip realms right right okay. at this point. Okay. Yep. I'm going to teleport myself. I want to go down here off the big platform. Can I do that? Yep. Okay. And I got a 78. Okay. Yep. That takes you down there. That's no problem. So then we go to Poet. All right. If I roll for extra rolls, mm -hmm. just rolling both dice? Yes, ma'am. Okay, 66. Okay. That's going to be an extra action then for you. Okay. All right, so I'm going to address the situation of the capsule. Okay. Okay. Um, the capsule, I will teleport from neath its painted cloak, so carefully its contents cradled as unbroken yoke, discreetly leaving there the shell she thinks the capsule true. The real one reassembles safe at Iroshan HQ. Okay. All right. Ow. Karma. <laughs> <laughs> Karma. Yeah. <laughs> Karma. <laughs> True. That was a good ride. 60. Okay. And does that give you a yellow, I assume? Oh, good question. Um... Yes, it does. Okay. You can bump that to a red. Okay. Red. All right. I don't want to break the yoke. Yep, no, did not break the yoke. <laughs> and then, okay, so that rolls back around to Mike. Do you have an extra action still? Um, I dodged. Does that take my second one? Yes. Okay. Okay. So that's both of yours. Um, Andy does not have one. Psy Ghost, you do. Correct? Yeah, I got two. Okay. Yep. All right. So take your second. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep keep going with this guy. Okay. Karma. Karma. Can I use karma on the second one? Yep. You can use karma as many times as you as you like, as long as you have karma to spend. All right. We got a, uh, we got a 25 on that one. Ooh, that, that's a good thing you said karma. Uh, so we're going to use, to get it up, we're going to use, we got to get it to a green. Oh, it is a green. 
green. Oh, okay, cool. So do you want to get it to a yellow? Sure. We're going to push it up to a yellow. We're going to use another 20, 20 something karma. I don't even know math too hard. 25 karma, let's say. All right, 1175. All right, it's a yellow. Okay. He also got a yellow. So now you're going to have to roll Psyche. That's not a problem. I'm using karma. Okay. <laughs> I'm 63, no, 36. 36 on Psyche. My Psyche is monstrous. And that's definitely a green. Can I push it to a red on karma? It, uh, it, you said you have a green or a, a yellow? Green. You green. Can, push it up one. can only yeah. push it up one. So I'm pushing up to yellow with 20 karma. Okay. And with, within you, um, you hear the void. Oh, shit. See, what, did he get a better roll than me? He, he did an equal roll to you. Oh, we don't get um, fortunate, Fortunately, the um, void uh, equaled you as well. So you're, you're able to make a choice here. Uh, he, he didn't beat you in, in your uh, psychic battle. Uh, but you hear the void speak to you, uh, and he says, rip them all apart. Can I rip them, well, the, can I rip them all apart except for the kid? No, okay. Um, so... And, and what's my choice? You you have free you have free choice. You you can do it if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to. Do we want to kill? We don't want to kill these people, do we? That's not a good thing to do. You would lose your karma for sure. All of it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not going to kill them. Yeah, no, sure. I'm not going to kill them. No, just uh, to remind everyone, you can, if if you so desire, set aside karma. That would be like an advancement fund karma pool. But that karma can only be used for advancing the character. It cannot be used to advance roles. But if you lose all of your karma, you only lose the karma that is in your basic karma pool. Any of the advancement fund that you have saved, you do not lose, cannot lose that. Okay. So, you know, if you want to start keeping tabs on that. Uh, and now that we're getting into positions where you might potentially lose karma uh, for killing someone, uh, this this would be a time maybe to set some of that aside. <laughs> so since we're all adults and we can understand that, it's like a savings account versus a 401k. Exactly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to, um, so what am I, do I attack again? Are we done with this? Uh, you have one more attack coming, but it has to roll back around to you. So uh, let's go. I take go. ibuprofen. What's that? I take an ibuprofen. It helps with the void. Okay, good. <laughs> you just it, does, it really does help. It like lowers it a little bit, calms it down. Um, Dana. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. Um... Okay. If I teleport back up there, can I? That's the second action. That right? would be the second action, yes. Never mind. Um, I'm not near anybody now. I've ran. I've run away, and I'm not near anybody. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I will. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'm just gonna bloop, right back up here. I guess I have to go around, or I can teleport, so I can go around. Can I just do that? I'll yeah, just sure. Mm -hmm. I have to roll for that. Yep. I don't think I need karma or anything. Uh, I got a 78. Okay. You are there. And back to Christy. Okay. Fight, fight, fight. The Goblin Queen, red hair ablaze atop the throne. No, really, her hair, it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> She'd tamp them down, but the flames grow higher. Ironically, the Bamp's brimstone is 
extinguished with a little fizz. <laughs> <laughs> did that rhyme with something? The, the hiss? Did that rhyme with something? Fizz. <laughs> okay, that was that was correct. It's just but, okay. her accent. It's subtle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this might be a sonnet. I'm... Okay, um, karma. Sixty-six. Okay, and then that's probably yellow again. Do you want to bump that to a red? Sure. Okay. I think I rolled sixty-six before. Okay, so. Madeline Pryor's hair catches a flame. Um, and the brimstone that was around the Banff dragon uh, dissipates in a fizz. Uh, and um, you have basically taken away his ability to teleport in, uh, in that recitation. Uh, and as you predicted, uh, Madeline begins to try to put out her hair <laughs> and is unable to do so. Uh, so she is taking uh, damage from that. Now, your rank on the reality alteration is monstrous? Yes. Okay. Okay, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, she is uh, is screaming in pain right now and completely aghast that she is una unable to put the fire out because, you know, she's not only trying to stamp it out, you know, with her hands, but she's also working magic as she's trying to do that to try to put it out and the magic isn't, isn't working. Uh, so uh, then we go back to Kurt. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just keep, let's keep this contest going. Karma, karma, baby. I got a, a four. <laughs> a four. Does that, does it, can I still do something with that? It seems like there should be like an automatic fail at some point, but I can use karma with a four. Yeah. You can still use karma with a four. The only time that you can't is if you roll a one. Okay. So I'm going to bump it up to 21. The math yeah. is really hard right there. Is that like 17 or something like that? And then I got to take 655 minus 17. Oh my God. How is it that we did, I like, had to take calculus and algebra and trigonometry and all that shit and I still can't see that. <laughs> 55 minus 17, I find challenging. Okay. Um, yeah. Green again. I'm rolling really well here, this dude tonight. Really right. bad. Results. All right, so you're doing more damage to Nastir. I am. Yep. <laughs> okay, so now it's a new round. We roll back around to uh, Spartan. All right, um, I'll roll for multiple actions again, and I don't think an eight is going to do it. So um, I will charge havoc and just put try to put a shoulder into him and knock him down or knock him out okay. and all right so i'll call karma on that just to be safe which is good 21 <laughs> <laughs> uh but with the column shifts that is shift x actually that's that's a green okay. but i'll I'll bump it up. I'll spend 20 to bump it up to a yellow. All right. Subtract two column shifts from that. Okay. And then that puts you back into green then. Uh, right. Okay. So that's still a hit. Uh, and then what's your um, endurance? Uh, right now it's monstrous plus two column shifts. So shift X. Okay. 150. Zoinks. Yeah, that'll do it on him. Uh, he's out. And you hear his ribs just cave. Sorry, dude. And I'm going to roll endurance for him to see if he starts dying. 
and see he's got remarkable endurance. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't <laughs> Yeah, uh, he is not breathing. You hear the air just ex expel from him in just this sickening uh, gasp, uh, and he has ceased breathing. Uh, now, he it, it will take uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rounds for him to expire completely. So, you know, once the battle is over, if you attempt to help him, you know, you you would be able to save him. I will, I will keep can, that in mind. Can we use our cell phones here or no? Not in here. <laughs> <laughs> you might be able to call each other, yes. Okay. I don't know uh, what the service is here in, uh, in Wonderland. <laughs> Dana, do you have a cell tower nearby? No cell towers, sorry. Yeah. Is that like I, a socialized government where there's like, you know, medical aid or is that <laughs> ambulance kind of things or is that not a good skill? Well, I'm not sure any of us have even first aid as a skill. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have Spanish. I can sort of say nice words. I can sing a Spanish lullaby to him <laughs> as he does. He's making him feel good. All right, Mastir. Um... You are all the way across the map there, aren't you, doing this to him? Um, he is going to attempt to fly over in your direction, at least get about halfway there. And as he does so, he sends out uh, an eldritch blast your way uh, with both of his hands uh, and this pink magical energy is coming your way um Me? yep yep kurt to you Psy ghost please don't use my real name i'm sorry Psy ghost <laughs> <laughs> and let's see here that's gonna be well i guess i'm kurt in the game too aren't i no that's right yep that. now the good thing is you're still twiddling with with his brain so it's yeah. gonna take his ability to hit you down quite a bit All but he right. got a 95 yes that's not very so good. that's not going to be good uh so okay. i can take it um do you want to do you want to take it or do you want to try to dodge dodge like is that like you know do you want to die or do you want to live yeah okay so dodging it is are you rolling for extra actions uh what yeah i'm rolling for extra actions, I'm putting karma. Just like I got an eight. I'm not doing well today. I went got a four last time. I got an eight this time. Yeah. Did you call karma? I on extra actions. I called karma. Can you call karma on extra actions? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I called karma, so I'm going to push that up to the green, right? Yep. And that's your intuition. Am I right? Uh, it's for extra it's action. fighting. Fighting. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. already okay um so i oh my god so i need yeah i need uh, math again too it's 50 30 something 33 okay and okay. Then now you're gonna roll agility to dodge okay all right, all right. okay uh and now I have agility to dodge karma 20 jesus lord almighty <laughs> These are like unbelievable rows. I'm on agility is excellent. Okay. So I get, it gets me, uh, yeah, I'm green of course, but. With the karma. Yeah. Okay. So instead of doing monstrous damage, he's only gonna do uh, incredible. So you'll okay. take 40 points of damage. All right, buddy, it's on, let's go. And so that was Mystere. And we're going to go to Colossus next. And Dana, Colossus steps in towards you and takes a swing at you with his soul sword. Okay. <clears throat> 
Okay, I want extra actions. And he biffs it. Good. Just whiffs right over the top of your head because he's so tall. Uh, he, he just misjudged and missed you completely. Okay. <clears throat> so that's going to go to Banff Dragon, Dana, or uh, Christy. He can't teleport, uh, but he can still attack. And he swipes at you with his claws. And he also misses. Got a 21. Oh, it's like, damn it, I'm trying to write here, dude. Can you just like <laughs> chill a little bit? Yeah, how hard it is to write this poem? Hang on, hang on. Give me a minute. Uh, <laughs> Goblin Queen. Um, is going to try to put her hair out once again. <laughs> amazing. Oh my God, she got a five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's going to be another 75 points of damage to that little lady. Best poem ever, Christy. <laughs> We're going to roll... See if she passes out. All right, she's got an unearthly, so she just might be all right. Got a 73, yeah, so she's not passing out, but she's hurting pretty bad. And then it comes to Psyghost and Arsenal, so... Uh, Arsenal, why don't you go ahead? Okay, uh, I'm going to roll for extra actions with Karma here. So, and it's a good thing because I got a two. <laughs> Tell you what, doesn't matter what I roll with. Uh, so I'm gonna Everybody's that... rolling like Christy was last week. Yeah, so I'm going <laughs> to bump that up to a green. <laughs> so I've got at least one extra action there, right? With the green? Yep. Um, so I am going to reach in and pull out a weapon and I'm going to roll to see if I get, uh, the weapon that I want. So that is monstrous. And with karma. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, good thing I called karma. Um, I got a yellow I was reaching for uh, a thunderbolt. I was trying for a mythical weapon of Zeus's thunderbolt. Oh. So. So you rolled a yellow and you can get it to a red or you rolled a green no, and got I a yellow? No, I rolled a green and okay. got to a yellow. Okay. Well, so. you, can, you can pull out a uh, lightning bolt shaped sword. <laughs> yep. There you go. All right. So I've uh, expended my one action there, and then I guess now, the... but but that's just pulling a, a weapon, so it doesn't right. count as an action. So that's oh, that's right. That's okay. a free action. All right. So, so who am I close to? I guess the Red Queen. So I'm gonna go up behind the Red Queen and put my sword to her and tell everybody, hey, everybody. Everybody stop what you're doing, or she dies. Okay. See, let's see how intimidating I can be there since, there's hair, since her hair's on fire. All right. Roll. You're taking care of business. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, no, I'm not going to have you roll anything. I'm going to have these guys roll something. Give me a second here. Um, those that are within your vicinity up there, uh, which really is really Colossus. just Colossus, uh, he hears you, turns and sees, you know, what you are doing, uh, and he backs off slightly. And I'm going to put the sword at the base of her skull and say, I made it. Okay. And then Psy Ghost. Still with this guy. I really want to take this guy down. Um, 
Did I get my extra actions at some point or no? Or where are we on the extra actions? It, you you know? would need to roll or yeah, you did get your extra actions, yes. So okay. yeah, you've you've got another one. Another okay, so uh, well anyway, I'm I'm gonna um I'm gonna simul do I have an extra action right now or no? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So I wanna do like a I wanna keep the, the tendrils in him and keep pushing it, but then I want to send a billy club into his gut as well. Okay. So the tendrils are going. I didn't call karma on that. I got a, um, I got a forty-five. I'm still in green. Okay. Um, and the Billy Club, I'm gonna call karma on. I got an eighty on that, so I'm gonna push that to red. The Billy Club is telekinetic, uh, and it's uh, amazing damage. And the other thing is monstrous. But the red is the billy club. Uh, you got a red on the billy club? Yeah, which is amazing damage and monstrous okay. damage on the telekinetic. Green, I got a green on that. Dude, I got other things to do. Go down. Shit, he got a 10. There you go, buddy. Bye-bye. Go to sleep. And a 1, so he is now in the process of dying. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Now we got to get two of them out of here, too. Do we have to save these guys or we lose our karma or something? Well, you probably don't have to save the demon. You can let him die if you want. Because <laughs> demons get reborn in hell and everything like that. So <laughs> All right. Not his first rodeo. Neither is it mine, Mr. Demon. <laughs> uh, Dana. Yes, I want ex extra actions. Extra actions. Two, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I got double lot. Is that 100? That is a double lot. Uh, 100, yes. Thank you, guys. Okay, so okay. What, do you want, what are you doing? Yeah. Oh, that was your extra actions. Okay, what? so you've got two extra, so a total of three. Oh, sweet. Can I use two now instead of going around and around? <laughs> <laughs> Technically, no. But... Never mind. I know. Okay. All right. Um, so Colossus is turned away from me, right? Correct. Okay. I'm going to... Um, can I just... I can't bring things up. I have to paint them here because I don't have control of the limbo, right? That's correct right now, yeah. I just want to make sure. Okay, so I'm going to um, paint some rose vines and they're going to snake around him and try to contain him and hold him in place. Okay. A lot of them. Very thick, pointy <laughs> rose vines. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make this one a dimensional. Okay. Well, I don't know. That's is your dimensional lower than your universal? Um, that's a good question. It's a sh uh, dimensional level at the remarkable level is dimensional, so that's remarkable. Okay. Yeah. So roll on the incredible. And I got a eighty. Nope. Yep. Eighty six. Okay. And that's a yellow. And did you call karma? Yeah. <coughs> karma. <laughs> I mean, I did mean to, but if it doesn't count, that's fine. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah, you pull forth your roses, and it and it snakes around him uh, and binds his uh, one good arm because his other one is kind of withered and uh, in a sling up against his uh, his torso, uh, and you trap that other arm uh, with the soul sword. Uh, just kind of poking out of it. Yeah. And Christy. Okay. Um, I just got a little quick thing. You know what? I might as well roll for two rolls. Okay. Two actions. Okay. 34. No. That's incredible here. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, not good there. All right. All right, so that, whatever you do next is a minus four column shift. <laughs> Ooh. I 
don't even know. This is maybe a little throwaway, but the soul sword shard has made with paint now has an edge like a razor, but from the tip when she, what did I say here? But from the tip. <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. I didn't do that, remember? Yeah, she did. I don't think she's got the the one that she made from paint. I'm just raving. I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm just damping. laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. W would you like a moment? We can come back to you. <laughs> just bop him on the nose. <laughs> nope. <laughs> this is a bad dog. <laughs> Hold up newspaper. <laughs> Give me a minute. Okay. All right. We'll come back to you. Uh, back to Mike. Um, well, I will, um, I'll, I'll, I'll try out one of my, um, arm or leg testicle powers <laughs> and, um, attempt to, um, use light generation to shoot, um, Colossus with uh, some lasers out of my hands. Okay. And uh, I'll roll karma. Or call karma. I got a 48 on amazing. And that'll be, a, a, that'll be on agility to hit. Agility to hit. Yes. Okay. Uh, so excellent. 48 is just a green. And I'll, since I'm, I called karma anyway, I'll bump that up to a yellow. And then that does amazing damage though, right? Right. Okay. All right, you hit him uh, in the face. <laughs> like a killing spree. <laughs> and, and he rolled a one. Energy <laughs> two. attack. That's a bullseye. All right, so yeah, that's uh, that did some damage to him, yeah. Um, and you see him cringe, but he can't really react at this point because he's bound. Um, and then that will then go to Arsenal. Do you have another error? Action? Yeah, I got one. Yeah, I've got one more roll. Okay. Uh, so I'll take the queen down. Uh, I've threatened everybody. Nobody stopped. So we're going to. Well, gonna... Colossus did, but now, <laughs> but yeah. he's now otherwise occupied. <laughs> yeah, he's otherwise occupied. So uh, I think if she goes down, hopefully everybody else will kind of back off a little bit. So I will take and slice, uh, just pierce the back of her neck a little bit with the sword. Okay. Um, enough just to paralyze her. Hopefully. Now watch, I'll get a, a roll that just is ungodly. Uh, so strength. That'd be a strength. Okay, I'm good. And 44. Uh, it's green. Okay. And how much damage? Uh, it's strength with a column shift, so... Wait no, you got you, you got a yellow, didn't you? For the swords, the sword came out as a yellow. Okay, so that, that uh, so should yeah, be that'd be incredible. 40. That'd be incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, would you like so to know how much green. health that she had before you did that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I really don't know that in a battle. So, but <laughs> but for the comedy of it, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> she, she had five. Oh. oh my god. She had one. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. All righty. Um, let's see. What's her... Stop, down. Stop <laughs> killing each other. All right. Well, she did okay. She got uh, green, so she's not dying. No. Oh. But she's out. Okay. Ooh. You saved me. <laughs> so she's out. And... Colossus is kind of incapacitated at the moment. Um, Kurt, did you have any extra actions? I think that was it for you, wasn't it?
Yeah, I think so. I think I'm good. I'm okay. Sure. All right. So then, Dana, you've got an extra one, right? I have two more. Okay. Two more. All right. Give me another one. So Colossus is just standing there. Yes. He's, mm -hmm. he's not doing anything else. And and blinded because uh, he got shot in the and face blinded. with lasers. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to force him down onto his knees with the, the roses, the rose okay. vines. And it is an 86. You're going to choke him out. All right. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, you're able to bring him down to his knees. Uh, and then we go to Christy. I'm going to call karma. Okay. And I'm sorry for my earlier mistake. It was just a rant or rave. Grounded so he cannot fly. The dragon cannot help but cry. Bamf the mighty dragon sadly slips into his cave. <laughs> 31 okay and that's on monstrous right so it's probably at least a green yeah okay it's green. all right we're gonna give him a psyche roll to try to resist that Oh, good Lord. Okay. <laughs> and he goes into his cave. <laughs> All right. So you've just got Colossus there now. Uh, Dana, do you want to take a final action? Can I just conk him on the head with some sort of big hammer thing? Well, you can use the soul sword on him for sure. Uh, and kill him? No, no. I want to kill anybody. Everyone's killing everybody. I don't want to kill anybody. Uh, but you can you can stun him with that uh, okay. because of his relation to. Um, magic to Ileana, that's his sister. Yes. He is particularly susceptible to the soul swords. Okay. Uh, and is he, is he carrying a real soul sword? Yes. Can I take it away from him? You can do that, yes. So that's, is that one action? Or yeah. can I do that? Mm -hmm. Talk him out and then take it. <laughs> you can do that as well. I will do that then. Okay. And I will call karma. Okay. And it's good that I did because I got a 24. Okay. And that's going to be a green then when you add your karma. Yeah. Uh, and then how much damage does that do to infernal beings? Is it monstrous? Mm, yeah. Is it? I think monstrous damage to mystical or infernal beings. Monstrous. Okay. All right, Sorry. cool. I read it wrong. All right, and he passes out. The not dead, right? Not dead. Let's <laughs> mm -hmm. go night night. I want to take his sword. Okay. <laughs> yep. You may do that. So you grab hold of it. And it begins to shimmer with this uh, blinding white light uh, when you grab hold of it and it begins to vibrate in your uh, left hand, I would assume, because you've got your soul sword in, in your right hand. Mm -hmm. uh, and you feel it's almost like a magnetic pull of these two swords pulling together. Um, and it's so strong, it's, it's, it's stronger than what you're able to try to pull it apart. They come together and they form this gigantic blade 
that's probably almost about a foot wide uh, and about eight feet long. Um, and your armor that is normally over part of your body now encompasses your entire form uh, and is very reminiscent of Colossus's body armor, that shiny metallic uh, kind of look. Uh, so you have a combination of both your um, soul armor uh, and the Colossus style armor combined. Um, and you will receive a plus, what's your strength? Good question. Um, excellent. Plus three column shift to your strength. Uh, what's your armor? Armor, sorry. Um, excellent in the first round increases one rank per round to a maximum of monstrous. So okay. I guess monstrous. Your maximum, on. your maximum now shifts to unearthly. Oof. Uh, and the, your base armor, because you will be stuck in the Colossus armor form, uh, is going to be um, incredible. But that is only for physical attacks. So any other uh, attacks like an energy attack or something like that, your base is still excellent starting off okay yep. uh so you now feel uh imbued with all of this incredible power now as well much like mike hey you've got <laughs> testicle eggs too no <laughs> colossus body <laughs> <laughs> and with that expulsion of all of that energy uh you see the bodies of the fallen uh, just begin to, uh, like Thanos's snap, just dissipate and turn to dust. That's that. <laughs> and, and Bernie the Watcher just sits in his <laughs> folding chair and he nods ever so slightly <laughs> for a job well done. <laughs> uh, so now what do we do um, well, didn't Christy zap the egg thing <laughs> to, to headquarters yeah, I'm going to check that we should probably check that out yeah do I get does that is Limbo back in my control? Yes. It, yeah, you feel with the uh, uh, disappearance of the Goblin Queen, uh, the, the powers of Wonderland uh, coming back under your control, yes. Can I just do a little cleanup and poof? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, and then you can reassemble your Hall of Mirrors. Now that will probably take some time. And if it's something that you don't want to do right at the moment, uh, you don't have to, but you've got the ability now to trans transport everybody from this dimension back to the earth realm. Great, let's do that. Let's go back to headquarters. Okay. All right, so you teleport everybody back to Iroshan and um, in uh, what is our version of the danger room, I'm going to uh, just kind of assume that's where uh, the incubator landed. Um, and it is just sitting in this empty room, uh, very cavernous empty room, uh, and just floating in midair. Uh, and again, it is just this kind of skeletal structure uh, that has kind of a clear uh, 
coating over the top of it that allows you to see inside in this uh, green ectoplasm and you see this body uh, of what appears to be a small childlike human form uh, inside. Computer. Yes, Arsenal. Oh, yes. He's going to do the voice. <laughs> uh, analyze egg structure and egg. Egg structure seems to be made up of material from the dream realm. Uh, unknown uh, quality uh, of matter in this reality, uh, but associated with that of the Dream Slayer. Similar to Dream Slayer armor. All right. So we can't crack it open and have an omelet. <laughs> Don't. Touch doesn't it. don't touch it don't crack it open but doesn't your sword or didn't your sword originally like kind of act was able to act as a key for that yeah the, the it has a slot on the front that is very similar to what um your sword, sword looked like yeah so we do don't want we don't want to open it no, we, I think we, we should open we, it. Yeah, we do want to open well, it. Well, we opened the box. Why not open <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. You know, box, egg, whatever. Can I use my clairvoyance to see if it's ready to be opened? Yeah, you can. Sure. I'm going to go up to it, put my hands on it. Okay, roll it. Funny. <laughs> oh, 46. And what color is that? Green? Mm, monstrous clairvoyance? Is that what it says? Uh, you've got your sheet. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but it's just... Um, I'm sorry. 46 is green on monstrous. Glass monstrous clairvoyance, yes. Okay. Sorry, All right. Um, so you kind of peer uh, into the incubator. Uh, and there is the body and the mind of a, of a small child uh, in, inside there. But there's also something else. Uh, you feel another presence inside. And as you're detecting this other presence, you hear uh, a voice that speaks to you. And uh, as it speaks to you, uh, the voice then expands from your mind into the minds of, uh, of your companions. And it says, guys, it's me, it's, it's, it's Kelly. Phantasm. I know this is weird, but I'm here inside the incubator. I know we haven't talked much over the last few years and Chris and I have been spending most of our time in the dreaming, but there's a reason for that. And I, I'm sorry that we've had to keep it from you. But you're looking at the reason right now. This is our son. We've named him Sullivan. How he came about is a long story, but let me just say this. We were drawn to him and the energies that are inside of him tie him strictly to us. On the day that we found him, our souls became one. His powers were wildly out of control when we were drawn to him. But once we were able to bring him into the dreaming, we have been able to train him to control his abilities. It's an ongoing process and we've only begun to understand his capabilities. We knew that one day someone or something would come looking for him. Chris sacrificed his dream soul for him, and I am the only thing keeping whatever that dark god was from finding him. Now, I know Chris reached out to you, and even though he asked you not to search for him, I'm pretty sure that he knew you wouldn't rest until you found him. 
there's a reason that things are happening right now. And I think you are potentially collecting the keys that will allow you the ability to fight whatever it is that attacked us. And Dana, it looks like, it looks like you've already found your key. And Mike, I think you too. Can we talk to Kelly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> should we open this incubator or should we put it somewhere safe? Chris and I felt like the safest place for this incubator to be to keep it away from whatever that dark god was, was Wonderland. We used the back door that you created to the dreaming to get him there. Uh, when Chris and I were taken, Chris sent me to the Dreaming first in order to protect Sullivan. And we created the incubator to keep him safe and to keep him guarded. And if we take him out now, then that thing is probably going to awaken and, or, and find him. Um, so I think still the safest place for him actually is back in Wonderland and still in the incubator with me. Okay, I'll put it back there. I'll create a space for it. Thank you. And we owe you more than you know for what you're doing for us right now. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Well, you guys mean the world to us, so we would protect you guys with our lives. And you know that goes both ways. And one day when this is all over, <laughs> one day when this is all over, hopefully we'll be able to repay the debt. All right. <clears throat> I'm taking it back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, while she does that, what do the rest of you want to do? Well, do we need to find out if Loki and them left Burlington? We just kind of, we just kind of <laughs> just like, left them there. <laughs> we just kind of left them there, and for all we know, they could have like destroyed the town and everything around it at this point. Which that might be why Bernie was sitting there watching. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Uh, so I guess I'll, I'll go over to the computer and see if I can pull up some new f footage and see if there's any more reports. Okay. Um, yeah, you're able to do that. Uh, and you see that things in Montpelier have kind of calmed down at this point, that the um, uh, Viking horde that was there had been defeated by... Uh, uh, one of the town's heroes and a group of uh, other unknown individuals that they happened to, a few of the college kids happened to catch on uh, their iPhones and send them into the TV station. So you guys are uh, extra famous. So you get actually a uh, uh, plus uh, 10 to your popularities. Mm. Um, and that one of them had actually taken pictures on the horizon line uh, up near Hubbard Tower, and uh, they, they could see, you know, the upper portions of those two frost giants. Um, and this uh, bright swirling uh, green light uh, that was going on up there, and then all of a sudden the green light just sucks back in, and the two frost giants disappear. So safe to say everybody is gone. So, all right. <laughs> well, at this point, we've got this egg in an incubator. Dan is putting it back in Wonderland. Mike's got powers. Dan has got increased powers. And we still have no idea where Chris is, only that he has sacrificed <laughs> part of his part of his power to this creature. What do we want our next move to be? I think we should, you know, keep looking for Chris somewhere, but I don't know exactly where next. 
any other dimensions we haven't thought of? In any other earthly places of significance? Why don't we all go to sleep and see what happens? <laughs> I never had our picnic. Isn't, isn't all this stuff you, just want, the, you just want to spoon on the floor of the cabin again. <laughs> uh, it's all the dreaming, isn't it? So what if we uh, like go to sleep and <clears throat> try to access, like I can ask for a project maybe. From my but well, but if, if you, you remember early on, the, when, the, once the, you, guy, yeah. the, the people that we found drilling on the floor. Oh, that's right. That wasn't a good idea. Yeah. Okay. And you guys did try to spoon each other and go to sleep up in Chicago. <laughs> and, uh, it didn't work. and that didn't work. <laughs> I didn't spoon hard enough. <laughs> a spoon harder. <laughs> call call, call karma. Call grinding, not spoon. <laughs> <laughs> um, so well try the know. back door again in Wonderland to see if we're strong enough to fight through there. <laughs> Don't we need would to you, find more stones? I don't think that's appropriate. What'd you say, Kurt? There's no more stones to find. More stones? No, you got all the stones. You got all the stones. That's the first time he's ever heard that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> don't we need to find Chris? Is there a way to do that? Well, I, I think I think Dana's kind of onto something that you guys tried to pierce that veil. And you, you came face to face with that creature. I tried to pierce the veil of the back door, but it just didn't work. I think we should try again. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Is that good enough, Mike? <laughs> Pretty good. Thank you. Um, okay. Sounds like a plan. Now with your larger stones. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Well, let's go. Kurt, what is your wife's name? Mari Mar. Oh, Mari Mar. M A R I M A R. Okay. Um, you are one of the most powerful telepaths on the planet. Thank you. Uh, right up there with uh, with Professor Xavier, right? I I, I believe you claim this. People say this. I like to be humble about it. Not really. <laughs> Um, and obviously, you know, you, you have a very particular connection to your, your family, your wife and your children. Uh, and as you're sitting here discussing what to do next, you hear kind of a psychic cry, a scream, uh, coming from Marimar, um, which you're immediately drawn to and, and are able to uh, attune to and she is calling for you uh, and she says Kurt you, you need to get here soon quickly I don't know where you've been I've been calling for you for some time but he says that like about 10 times a day normally <laughs> something is wrong uh, at home we need you here soon, as soon as you possibly hey, can. So it sounds like we all better get down there. What do you all think? Oh, yeah. Sure. Right. I mean, I have, I have seen Narcos, but <laughs> that that hopefully is not Loki and standing there when we get there. It's always Narcos are, are, would be the least of our problems. Yeah. Well, should we all go? Road trip. All right, so Dana, you're going to port them down there? Let's port. Okay. Yes. Um, Kurt, why don't you describe your lovely little town down in Mexico? Sure, the town here is called Cholul, C-H-O-L-U-L. There's a yellow church in the middle of town, like a little cathedral, a little Mexican church. Um, and the town centers around that. Um, and there are like all around us, there are lots of lots of little, little houses, tiny little houses. Um, you know, where where uh, most of the population here is Mayan, about 80, 70 to 80 percent, which is the indigenous population of this area of Mexico, which is unusual. I mean, it's different than the United States, where a lot of the Native Americans died or were killed or moved to 
reservations. Um, and um, we are very, by, by two minutes away from the larger city of Merida, which is a million people and has all kind of the urban kind of stuff that you can imagine, as well as a colonial Spanish center that's pretty beautiful. Now, where is uh, Chichen, Chichen, I can't say it, Chichen Itza? Itza is about an hour and a half drive away, towards okay. heading towards Cancun, that direction. Okay. All right. Um, so, Dana, you port into the town. What was the name of the little church that you uh, said that is that is nearby? Uh, the it, it actually probably looks really good on Google, whatever. But it's um, mm -hmm. it's called the town's called Cholul, Cholul, Yucatan. That's where we live. Mm -hmm. And what's and you mentioned something about a little church. Yeah, there's a little church. It doesn't have a name, but it's a little church in the, I mean, it probably does, but I don't know what it is. It's a little, it's a, it's, it's actually quite a big church in the middle of the town. It's yellow. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, well. There we go. Oh, did you find it? Uh, hold on one second. So right now I got the 7-Eleven. Kurt, where, where do I go from here? <laughs> I'm, I'm at the 7-Eleven. Turn around, there's churches right behind us. That's the church right there and oh. that's behind those trees. Uh, go up the walk up the street there, either one. Oh, yeah. I see. Oh, there yeah. it is right uh, there. There we go. All oh, right. It's pretty. Is that yeah. Iglesia de Nuestro Señora de los Remedios? That's probably why I don't know the name of the church. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Julio Iglesias is on the sidewalk? <laughs> Tyner, we're going to ask you the name of the church a few times in the next episode. Okay. You're, you're going to you're gonna have to say it, Christy, because you brought it up. <laughs> You're going to have to send me the name of that church. <laughs> there it yeah. is. Oh, there you go. That, that yellow tree you call, you just passed, is called a Juvia de Oro, which means raining gold. See that one? That's mm. called raining gold. It blooms in May. So I can tell by this picture that this was taken probably in May. Oh, that's pretty Okay, good. well, right. stop the share screen for a second, because on the uh, um, lawn of that church, I have something to show you. Uh, let's see, where's my share screen right there? Oh. Yeah, see that little buggy? There's about a uh, dozen of those things yeah. crawling around that church area right there. Kurt, are you familiar with those? Yeah, yeah, when I'm walking through town, those are often there. Uh, <laughs> uh, that, that's that's another one there, what they, what they kind of look like. I just like. tell the kids to look the other way. I'm like, guys, look that way. Just don't look at those. <laughs> Is that what creates the worms that's in tequila? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's also the, 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 the babies are in our water supply. Why are you not supposed to drink the water here? Well, the churchyard is filled with these insect-like creatures uh, that with big gigantic pointy teeth and glowing yellow eyes uh, and they are uh, attacking members uh, of of the town uh, and uh, basically implanting something in them uh, with their tails um, and these are if you're familiar with the x-men the alien brood. Uh, and it is at this point where we shall call an end to tonight's adventure and, and see then what is happening in Mexico for our next episode. Mm. All right. Well, that's all I got for you this round. Thanks, right. Chris. Thanks, everybody. We look yep. forward to seeing you in a couple weeks. Yep. Thanks. All right. We'll see you guys in two weeks. Okay. All right, see you all later. Take care. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.